peptide bond, Wikipedia article audio. A peptide bond, also known as an amide bond, is a covalent chemical bond linking two consecutive amino acid monomers along a peptide or protein chain. Synthesis Degradation Spectra cis trans isomers of the peptide group Chemical reactions When two amino acids form a dipeptide through a peptide bond it is called condensation. In condensation, two amino acids approach each other, with the acid moiety of one coming near the amino moiety of the other. One loses a hydrogen and oxygen from its carboxyl group and the other loses a hydrogen from its amino group. This reaction produces a molecule of water and two amino acids joined by a peptide bond. The two joined amino acids are called a dipeptide. The amide bond is synthesized when the carboxyl group of one amino acid molecule reacts with the amino group of the other amino acid molecule causing the release of a molecule of water, hence the process is a dehydration synthesis reaction. The formation of the peptide bond consumes energy, which, in living systems, is derived from ADP. Polypeptides and proteins are chains of amino acids held together by peptide bonds. Living organisms employ enzymes to produce polypeptides, and ribosomes to produce proteins. Peptides are synthesized by specific enzymes. For example, the tripeptide glutathione is synthesized in two steps from free amino acids, by two enzymes, gamma-glutamylcysteine synthetase and glutathione synthetase. A peptide bond can be broken by hydrolysis. In the presence of water they will break down and release 8 16 kilojoules slash mole of free energy. This process is extremely slow, with the half-life at 2,5 C of between 350 and 600 years per bond. In living organisms, the process is normally catalyzed by enzymes known as peptidases or proteases although there are reports of peptide bond hydrolysis caused by conformational strain as the peptide-slash-protein folds into the native structure. This non-enzymatic process is thus not accelerated by transition state stabilization, but rather by ground state destabilization. The wavelength of absorption A for a peptide bond is 192.30 nm. Significant delocalization of the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom gives the group a partial double bond character. The partial double bond renders the amide group planar, occurring in either the cis or trans isomers. In the unfolded state of proteins, the peptide groups are free to isomerize and adopt both isomers, however, in the folded state, only a single isomer is adopted at each position. The trans form is preferred overwhelmingly in most peptide bonds. However, X-propeptide groups tend to have a roughly 30:1 ratio, presumably because the symmetry between the C alpha and C delta atoms of proline makes the cis and trans isomers nearly equal in energy. The dihedral angle associated with the peptide group and omega equals 180 for the trans isomer. Amide groups can isomerize about the CN bond between the cis and trans forms, albeit slowly, tau, 20 seconds at room temperature. The transition states omega equals plus or minus 90 requires that the partial double bond be broken, so that the activation energy is roughly 80 kilojoules slash mole. However, the activation energy can be lowered by changes that favor the single bonded form, 
such as placing the peptide group in a hydrophobic environment or donating a hydrogen bond to the nitrogen atom of an X-propeptide group. Both of these mechanisms for lowering the activation energy have been observed in peptidylprolyl isomerases, which are naturally occurring enzymes that catalyze the cis-trans isomerization of X-propeptide bonds. Conformational protein folding is usually much faster than cis-trans isomerization. A non-native isomer of some peptide groups can disrupt the conformational folding significantly, either slowing it or preventing it from even occurring until the native isomer is reached. However, not all peptide groups have the same effect on folding. Non-native isomers of other peptide groups may not affect folding at all. Due to its resonance stabilization, the peptide bond is relatively unreactive under physiological conditions, even less than similar compounds such as esters. Nevertheless, peptide bonds can undergo chemical reactions, usually through an attack of an electronegative atom on the carbonyl carbon breaking the carbonyl double bond and forming a tetrahedral intermediate. This is the pathway followed in proteolysis and, more generally, in NO-acyl exchange reactions such as those of intians. When the functional group attacking the peptide bond is a thiol, hydroxyl, or amine, the resulting molecule may be called a cyclol or, more specifically, a thiacyclol an oxycyclol or an azacyclol, respectively.